Describe yourself in three words, what your personality is. I would say uh, curious, uh, compassionate, and um, passionate. How important was it just for you to stay true to yourself throughout the draft process and now as you start your career here in Arizona? Uh, it's important because I don't, I want to um, be surrounded by, surrounded by people who uh, enjoy and respect me, not someone I'm pretending to be. I know a team um, felt like they identified um, themselves in me and, and me and them. And um, it's a really good feeling to, to, to be wanted after a, a couple picks of not being wanted. That's extra motivation for you. Where does that stem from, that you seem like a very self-motivated person? Yeah, I'm very self-motivated. not That stuff isn't motivation. That's just something I'll remember when, when we're beating them in years to come. <laughs> um, and I'll just remind them. But uh, I, don't, I don't need any extra external motivation. I'm, I'm um, very competitive and, and uh, inspired person, regardless of, of the activity. You started playing tennis at a very early age, right? You were a child prodigy, some would say. What did you learn from that sport? I learned how to, uh, how to self-motivate. Um, I don't, you, you talk to yourself, but I'm not talking to myself, like, like you won't like, catch me, like, catch me on the field, literally having conversations with myself. But uh, in a tennis match, you're out there for a couple hours by yourself, and, and um, you're not allowed to talk to any coaches or parents, so you just kind of, you're having inner dialogue with yourself through the whole, through the whole match and trying to um, keep your sanity. So uh, um, that's in football with your ups and downs, and I'm constantly just kind of reassuring myself and, and giving myself um, kind of little tidbits I know that help, help myself tick and uh, to push, and, uh, push through a game. What is it like knowing that, you know, the Cardinals put stock in you, that you are the future here? I don't really mind the, the competitive pressure um, within the sport of football. The, I think the pressure that um, that I sometimes feel is, is the the careers and lives that are on my back. It's a pretty big move um, in a draft room with your owner sitting right there to try and convince them that you want to give up some picks to move up to get someone. So um, uh, if I don't work out, uh, a lot of people won't have their their jobs here, and uh, they have to relocate their families and, and find new schools for their kids and and. Um, uh, the, a lot of things change, so that that's the kind of the professional burden of um, uh, of of being drafted high and, and having that kind of pressure. I mean, as long as being on the field, it's football. I've been doing it my whole life. Um, you have good games, you have bad games, but as as long as you're you're trending in an upward direction, um, mm -hmm. it's all good. So uh, uh, I'll be fine. But that's a little bit of, of bigger picture. Sometimes, but yeah, it's definitely about looking at the bigger picture.